I, I'm so good. Literally, I am so good at geometry, Dash. What up? Oh my gosh, I'm so big. Um, got an idea. So, I dehub my wheel. I'll go show you the dehub wheel when I get out there. And then I also, as you guys, if you know, uh, my grips are like in half. So I think back here in my scooter drawer, I got these galaxy wheels. Oh, these are dehub too. Look at this. It like fully comes apart. I should like finish that. That doesn't look weird. <sighs> <laughs> Dehubization. Yeah. 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 So that's dehub. But this one looks fine. And then I need grips. Oh, dope. Purple too. Purple and black. Purple and black fusion grips. I was going to order new purple uh, ethic grips, which I have right now, because I like how thick they are. And fusion is, these are pretty thick grips too. So I'll put these on too. One galaxy wheel, one hang five black wheel, and black and purple fusion grips. So I'm gonna go boil these to get all the bacteria out and just to, so the color can pop out more because I'll meet you when the water's boiling. Boiling now, so I'm just gonna put them in anyways. And you can already see stuff coming off of them. See, the colors are already kind of popping out. It's like a layer. That stuff right there. The stuff that came off of those grips. You're gonna get drunk. On. Imagine if I was like making spaghetti or something. This ankle right here would be fine. Oh shoot, the fork. Yeah. I got it. Oh, it's really getting bubbly. And then when you take them out, this is like really hot. It's really hot rubber, so be careful. Alrighty. So it is a little windy outside, so sorry about that. I don't know how well it's windy to you, but it's kind of windy. So I'm running a uh, 120 wheel up front and then a 110 wheel in the back and I was gonna show you the, uh, the 110 wheel that I broke but uh, I threw it in Nick's yard and I kind of forgot to pick it up so yeah my grips um, both of them uh, kind of shredded so yeah and then also I already had new grip tape I already had some extra grip tape so so we're gonna put that on and there's a bug on my camera. All right, uh, I have to go get tools. First things first. I take off the bars so it's easier to uh, handle with. Make sure when you take off the bars, if you have a four clamp bolt or even a two, make sure you loosen one uh, a little bit at a time. Don't loosen one all the way and then try to loosen the other one all the way because one, that will weaken your clamp and maybe your bolts. Jeez, OP, who tightened this thing? Jeez, OP. Whoever tightened that clamp must be really sneaking strong because that was hard. Bars off. Peeling this grip tape back, I feel like it's gonna be really hard. Never mind, it's gonna be hard. Alrighty. Uh, so there is there is residue on it, and there's not much you can really do about that unless if you like want to actually like scrape it off. But on mine, there's not there's not much residue, so I'm not even gonna worry about it because uh, it'll just it'll just go right over it anyway. So now I'm gonna take off the back wheel and take off my fender, so it'll be easier to cut around the back. Back wheel is now done. Grip tape. Then we're gonna spice it up a little bit back here. I have no clue what I'm doing, but we're gonna make a cool design looking thing. It's always the scariest part. Look how slick that looks. Awesome. Uh, all you do to grip a deck is you just put it on and then you push the sides down with a metal piece like this. Do that and then just go with the razor blade and cut it all off. Or 
you could just make a square, just like a, or I guess a rectangle. Just make a rectangle to your brake, to your head tube. And then if you do decide to go full deck, like I'm doing, all you want to do up by the welds, these Ethic decks are different, but like Native Sten and Fusion decks are a little bit more simple. Uh, all you gotta do is go to the weld and the grip tape is most likely over it and then take your Allen and kind of just go over it, just push against the weld and then take your razor blade or knife or whatever you're using and just follow the line and then it'll just peel right up. Oh no! Oh yeah. It isn't looking too bad. I probably could have done better, but uh, now I'm going to do the ethic logo, ethic logo right in the middle there, and I'm going to stop the camera for that because that's probably going to take some time, so yeah. All right, so the front, look at that. Look how beautiful that looks. I did, I did a pretty good job on that. So now we're going to do the back side of the deck. Oh. There we go. Kind of looks weird now, but... You just wait until it's finished. Alrighty. Boom. The back of the deck is done. This was the first time of me doing something like this. And look at it. It is an end that came out that bad. I mean, it's a little lopsided, but I mean, hey, nothing's perfect. Now, oh, we have to put the freaking brake on again. This is the worst part about it. I hate doing this. Let's go! My gosh, this is a miracle. Last time I put this fender on, it took me, I think, like 30 minutes. Alright, back wheel on. So we got the wheels set away, now we got the grips. So, whoa! First thing, you gotta take my bar ends out. Are so old. Like, look at those. That's like. That's old. I've had these grips for so long. So my grandpa does have an air compressor, but uh, I don't think he has the right attachments. I mean, he does, but I mean, they're kind of rusty and all over the place and rusty. And they're probably like all over the place and rusty. So like, if I did find them, if I did find the right tool to get the grips on easy, they're probably, they're probably rusty. So I'm just gonna use zip ties. How do you zip ties to put your bars on? Or, huh? How do you zip ties to put your grips on your bars? So, you take your grip and you put, I normally use three to four, but for this I'm using three. Uh, put them like, not all on the same side and put them all the way through so you can see them on the other side. They look like that and then put the bar right in the middle of those and then just slip them on. And boom, bam, grips are on. And also, when you tighten the clamp, do the same thing as you loosen it. Just do, just do a little bit at a time, each bolt. Let's see if it's dialed. Now, I don't know about you, but this, this sounds pretty dialed. Hear this. Let's rock a little bit. Suck. Alrighty, let's see how the new scoop feels. I will... Woo! Whoa, boy, sketchy. Redo. Go. 
That's so much fun to do. Oh my gosh. Oh my, what was that? I got scared. That is weird. Woo -hoo -hoo, that was clean. Alrighty. That's enough scooter info today. Like, look at that. That thing is massive. Like, that's my finger. That's my finger, and that's how big that thing is. Yeah. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like this video, make sure to give it a little thumbs up to tell me that you liked it. And uh, share it with your friends if you think they'll like it. And subscribe to me, just so you can get more of this land and urban quality content. Uh, so, thank you guys for watching. It means a lot to me that you guys watch this every time I upload. Thank you so much, and I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya!